to go to Disney Springs. I'm wearing a hoodie over my bikini because TikTok will not post anything of me in a bikini at all. I didn't bring much with me because I have a carry-on, but I have this like little brown silk top and it's really hot here, so I think it'd be a moment. I also have this silky like leopard print skirt. I'm just afraid that the browns are different colors, but let me try it on. Maybe it's cute. So I think they look good together, but like I just ate a lot of pasta and uh, the skirt is a little tighter than usual, so I'm not quite sure about that one. Um, I don't feel like changing, so I'm just going to leave this on. I mean, it's fun. It'll, she'll do. Yeah. Hi, I'm Bailey, and this is part two about the National Eating Disorder Association. I want to preface this by saying there is a great difference between disordered eating and actual eating disorders, so please do not diagnose yourself with an eating disorder unless you have been to a certified health professional. There are a few signs that someone around you is struggling with an eating disorder, and I'm going to share a few of them with you. One of these would be constant weight checking. If you notice a friend is constantly worrying about how much they weigh or squeezing and pointing out parts of their body that they are not fond of, Please, please talk to them and make sure that they are okay. People with eating disorders will constantly be checking their weight and measurements to see if any progress has been made. And the progress that they see encourages them to keep going. It's really hard to understand what is going on in someone else's mind unless you've been there before. Another sign someone around you might be struggling is meal avoidance. People who are struggling will purposely go out of their way to avoid social functions that might include eating. I'm out of time again, so part three. TikTok is not letting me post anything that shows my body at all. At first, it was just the bikini ones when I was in Orlando, and I was like, okay, maybe my bikini's a little too small. But they were posting other bigger creators' bikini videos, and then all of mine, like six of them, were under review for hours. I was trying to make a video in this tank top and in shorts, and it won't post. Like, I'm fully, I'm so confused. Why is it, it's under review for what? What are we reviewing? Like, I'm fully clothed. I guess I'm only gonna be making- blah, blah. I guess I'm only gonna be making POVs today, so the people that followed me for the POVs are gonna be thrilled. <laughs> TikTok, please stop. Thanks. Let's see. Watch this, y'all. Why the fuck would that happen? It's a croissant. That I've been trying really hard not to feed into comments, but I do want to stick up for myself on this one. What you're hearing on the chorus is mostly layering, which means that there's another chorus that I sang in the studio layered on top, so it's double the vocals. But for my own sanity, I'm going to sing it acoustic. They're so pretty, it hurts. I'm not talking about boys, I'm talking about girls. They're so pretty with their button-up shirts. People are still gonna hate on me, but I don't know. I I kind of think I can sing. <laughs> Who asked? No one. I'm not mad. I don't care that I'm built like a box. I'm literally built like a cabinet. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I still look damn good, and if you don't think so, that's your problem, not mine. So don't be commenting on my video. She's built like this. Thank you, Einstein. I never knew that. And second of all. <laughs> In response, whoa, I'm blocking the screen. <clears throat> I would like to point out your reply. Uh, who are you arguing with? What is the argument here? There's no analysis. There's no uh, rhetorical situation. Please enlighten us. I don't get it. This you? So recently, my whole For You page has been people mixing in liquid blush to their concealers. And I just want to say I've been doing this. Y'all are just overcomplicating it a little bit. Here's how I delete my under eyes. Poof. Get whatever pink blush your little heart desires. I chose Happy by Rare Beauty. I'll do this side for comparison, but I put a little underneath and the corner. I'm just going to tap it in with my finger. Now that I look sickly, we're going to put concealer over it. The Hourglass Vanish Concealer is literally magic. A little here and here. I don't want to talk about this. We're going to blend her out. Ooh. I'm setting it with the Fenty Beauty Powder. Do I even need to say anything? It's like my eye on this side is going a totally different direction on the end. 10 out of 10. Mwah. You guys are saying this like you were surprised that I have abs. Here they are. <laughs> what is happening here? No, because why do I actually, like, like, I did that jokingly, but like, why am I actually ripped? <laughs>
Okay, and so what if I'm a rectangle? You couldn't fool me if I was a circle, square, rhombus, triangle, rectangle, octagon. It doesn't matter. Stop body shaming. <laughs> First of all, that's not what the video is about at all. And why would I be saying that I want to be roofied by a frat? I wasn't. And second of all, check your damn attitude because I'm cute. Ew. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, no. That was a food, baby, because I just eaten a whole wrap. But thank you for thinking that someone would like me enough to get me pregnant. That honestly is a compliment, and I'm going to take it with positive vibes. Thanks. Besties, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't want to make that POV right now because Shower by Becky G is literally embedded into my brain. Like, I genuinely think it took a part of my brain. Like, it, it's in there. Like, it's always in my brain. I have to listen to it so many times to make the POV. It hurts my soul. And I make them up as I go. But because I've listened to that song so many freaking times, I don't have any, like, ideas left or motivation. So literally, they don't even make sense. Like, I don't know why you guys want more because at this point, like, I've made so many parts. I don't even know what's going on. I literally, I couldn't tell you. That's why it's like all over the place because I make it up as I go. But you guys obviously enjoy it. But sometimes I just don't want to sit here and literally talk to my lamp because that's all I'm doing. Literally, this is where I sit in this chair and I talk to my lamp. It's not that fun sometimes. My mental health is at risk. <laughs> Yesterday, I finally moved out of my tiny LA starter apartment. This was very scary for me because I have not actually moved by myself. I've only gone from college and back and then college to LA. Roadway moving made this so easy for me. I had literally no worries in the world and all my stuff got there perfectly. They started by putting down these mats and covering the door so that they didn't damage anything when moving the furniture. They also were kind enough to give me this wardrobe for my clothes. Guys, I had all white furniture and they managed to get it out without getting any of it dirty, which was so impressive. The workers were so kind and really fast. This entire process was so easy and they did everything right. Again, they put down the mats so they wouldn't cause any damage. And they even built my dining chairs for me, which was so nice because I cannot do that. If you're looking for a moving company, I recommend Roadway Moving is the way to go. Someone asked for an updated nose contour tutorial, but I can't find the comment. So here it is. First, I take the Fenty Beauty Cream Contour Stick and I make a V underneath my nose. Then I blend it out with my finger. Going in with my trusty Hoola Caramel Bronzer and I'm gonna do the same thing I did as last time, but slightly different. Create a V underneath the nose to give it that button-esque look. I drag it partially onto the nostrils like here. Then I take some and I make a line right where my tip is. That was a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> Trust the process. Now I'm gonna make two little lines that don't go all the way up. I'll show you. Now we have this, it's like an open rectangle. I'm gonna take the brush and gently connect the lines to the top of my eyebrow. Take a fluffy brush and just blend everything together gently. I took my Charlotte Tilbury cream highlight wand and I put it on the tip and then on the bridge, but not all the way. And yeah, that's it. Skinny nose. Hey guys, I'm not in the mood to make POVs right now. So here's a story time. Yesterday, I was going to Target. I'm in a dorm. I have to cross the street, whatever. I'm standing there waiting to cross. There's a man and his son, which I didn't find out until after, but he's kind of like looking at me like the dad is looking at me and I'm like, what because it's not like i was dressed like thotty body like little baby hooker i was wearing a sweatshirt and jeans like ready to go to target and get some coffee and he keeps looking at me and then he turns and he's like i don't mean like any disrespect like i don't mean to be rude but you're so beautiful and i was like oh like thank you like i appreciate a compliment he was then he started saying like yeah like what do you think like i don't think it's rude to just compliment a woman like saying that she's beautiful and then he was like yeah my son has a girlfriend but he won't do it and he was like well what do you think and i was like uh i don't know but like he was literally missing a tooth one no disrespect if you're missing a tooth but he was like 55 and i'm 18 like what just this one time i am giving you guys full permission to absolutely gas on me in the comments and let me show you why Take it all in. Just give me your initial reaction. I don't care what it is. Just say it. I don't know what was going through my head when I bought this, but uh, it's here. Hey 
guys, get dressed with me for Coachella day two. The first part of this outfit doesn't even look like clothing. It just goes over my chest. So let's put it on. This is the top on. And now I'm going to put on these giant cargo pants. We're in a rush. Okay, these are the pants. They're kind of huge and crazy. I love them. We're going to add this fun belt that has stars on it. There's Maggie. <laughs> All right, here is the belt. And next up, we have some really fun gloves too. Rocker core. I just put on these two necklaces and these gloves. Here's the entire fit. We literally have to leave right now but this is iconic my favorite one so far it's like coachella day two Woo! bitches get dressed with me for coachella day three <sighs> i have this insane crochet fit today and i'm so excited to wear it first up is this skirt and i honestly can't figure out which way is the top and which way is the bottom honestly i am not sure that i put this on the right way but it is so cute this thing is supposed to go over your shoulders but i'm gonna put it around my waist like a belt i think that this is correct i'm not sure but now we have this crazy crochet bra maggie is tying this for me because there's a lot of moving parts and i'm struggling next up i am putting on a leg garter time to put on some necklaces i don't even know what's in here i love gloves so i have another pair that has fringe this time here is the final fit for coachella day three this is so impractical but it looks so good so i'm okay with it no crumbs no no crumbs, bitch. <laughs> I always get comments about my nails and about my tattoos, so I'm gonna knock them out both at once and just show them to you guys. So here are the nails if you needed some inspo, and then we have my Rose tattoo because my middle name is Rose. So we have this one. This is a snake. Her name is Pearl. I love her. It hurt really bad. I also have a belly button piercing, and if you are thinking about getting a belly button piercing, do it. This is your sign. Go get one. Mine didn't hurt at all. I got it like eight months ago. Never got infected. She is amazing. Just go to a good piercer. Mine literally didn't hurt. It was like, and it was done. Okay, you guys keep asking me how I lost the weight. Um, I've lost about 25 pounds, so I'm going to tell you my exact cardio routine that did help me. I weight lift in addition, so it's not just all cardio. Basically, on my cardio days, I get right on the Stairmaster, and I go on speed 12 for 20 minutes. <laughs> You do not have to do speed 12, but I am telling you, if you want to burn calories quickly and efficiently, Stairmaster is absolutely the best way to go about it. You can do speed 10 for 15. I used to do speed 10 for 10 minutes until I got good at it, and then I moved up to 12 for longer. Once I'm done with that, I'll go into the treadmill and run anywhere from a mile to two miles. On speed, like, six, six and a half, depending on the day. And then however long that took me for the rest of the time, I do speed 3.3 on incline 15. This in total will burn about like 700 to 800 calories and it is ridiculously hard. <laughs> hey cuties, I have some exciting news. Recently, a lot of you have been saying that I had a glow up and I think it is pretty evident that I have changed a lot since I first started making TikToks. Not only physically, but also mentally. So I'm going to be doing a two-hour long live stream on 2-Bit this Saturday, April 10th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On this live stream, I'm going to show you guys not only my top 10 beauty products from 2020 and 2021 that literally changed my life, I'm also going to be sharing my top 10 tips on how I became more confident and how you can become more confident too, because you deserve to be confident, you beautiful baby. The reason I'm going to be doing it on Tubit is because it is a great way to connect to you guys. You can talk to me directly, and it's a great way to connect with other bloggers. So, if you want to join me, download the app Tubit with a link in my bio. This live stream is going to be so much fun, and I cannot wait to talk to all of you guys. Love you! Let's get dressed together for day one of VidCon! I don't know, maybe I should just go like this. I'm just kidding. First is this white top from Garage. I really hope nobody spills on me. For the bottoms, I'm gonna put on this very long maxi skirt from Finesse. Just wait, it's so cute. There is just no way I'm gonna be able to keep this clean all day. I've also been obsessed with waist chains recently, so I'm gonna put on this one from Amazon. I already have jewelry on. This is actually my necklace that you can buy if you're at VidCon. This and matching earrings and some other stuff will be at my merch booth. On top of that, I'm gonna add this half and half pearl and chain one. Finally for shoes, these are Naked Wolf platform sneakers. They're amazing because I'm very short and I don't want people to know that. Here is our final fit and I really hope that I get to meet some of you guys at VidCon today. So if you see me, I am all white and you cannot miss me. And that's why I want to travel to all nine continents. The problem with that is that there's only seven continents. What? I could have swore it was nine. One million dollars now or a thousand dollars every time I lie to someone. <laughs> I love lying. Hey, does my makeup look good today? No. But I FaceTimed you and you literally told me that you liked it and wanted the routine. I never said that. Are you like gaslighting me right now? Nope. Hey, babe, I'm trying to win a bet. Do you love me? No, I don't. What? What do you mean? You've said it like a hundred times. Crazy, I don't remember saying that ever. You are making me look so dumb right now. 
Did you cheat on me? Yeah, I did. Is your real name even Bailey? No, it's Steve. No, your name is Bailey and you told me that you loved me. You sound kind of crazy right now. That didn't happen. If you'll excuse me, I need to go cry. Wait, let me test something. Bailey, are you attracted to me? Yes. <clears throat> want another quirk i just want to be normal well that's not an option so sorry what did you say you need to speak up hey bailey what's up did you lose your voice or something i stayed up all night finishing my project are you ready to present you have to it's part of our grade bailey would you like to present first sorry what go ahead can you speak louder Huh? If you can't speak up, I'm failing you. That's it, you're getting a zero. Whoever drives a pink Prius, you're getting towed. Speak up now and move it. Okay, that's it, we're gonna tow it. Is there a rat in here? It's $1,000 to get your car back. Can't find my straightener. What are you doing? Did you move it somewhere? I need it. Oh, yeah, I put it in the... In the what? Just tell me. Oh, yeah, I think that I moved it, too. Are you going crazy or am I? Hey, what's up? You smell kind of... Huh? What are you talking about? I think that you need a... I do not smell bad. Yeah, you smell like... Can you finish what you're saying? You're freaking me out. What's the answer to number five? Of course, the answer is... The answer is what? I found that the solution to the problem is- Are you feeling all right? What are you talking? I think somebody needs to call the nurse. Do you remember my locker combination? Mm-hmm, it's 1435. But it's three numbers. Then you twist it to the left and the right and then- Ugh, you're not helpful. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I feel- What, what do you feel? The Lulu. Yeah, I can tell. Like my outfit today, I'm unsure about it. No. Okay, harsh. Do you think a different top would make it better? No. Why are you nodding but saying no? What if I added on a coat to this outfit? No! Damn, do you like anything? Do you have a pencil I could borrow? No. Oh, okay. Well, did you do the homework? No. Shit, I was gonna copy you. Could you answer number four for the class, Bailey? No. Uh, okay. No. But I didn't even ask you anything. Dude, I just found out that your crush likes you back. No. What do you mean, no? I've been hearing rumors that he's gonna come over and ask you to homecoming today. No. I thought you liked him. No. Someone has to warn him. That's so embarrassing. Will you go to homecoming with me? No. Can't wait to see what place I am in line for the throne. This is so stupid. We're all going to be like a millionth in line or something. Hey, you never know. Who doesn't want to be royalty? No, thank you. I wouldn't last a day with my mouth. When I'm a princess, I'm going to banish you. In your dreams. Ugh, I'm over a millionth in line. What about you? <clears throat> 500,000. Dang, you're closer than me. See, I told you none of us were gonna be close. Okay, I have to go to my room now, bye. Third, how am I third? I don't own a single nice thing. I buy all my jewelry from Amazon. Breaking news, the person first in line for the throne has been slaughtered. Everyone has moved up one place. It was probably just a fluke accident or something. It'll be okay. Sis! What? Get down here right now! Why were you yelling? Did you see the news? There's a killer going after the people who are close in line for the throne. Say what now? Good thing we're super far back, right? Yeah, good thing. Are you okay? If we find the killer, we get a million dollar cash prize. We have to. You have to come with us. Please don't kill me. I'm too pretty to die. No, we're not going to kill you. We're going to protect you. Protect me? You're first in line and there's a killer on the loose. In case of emergency, we need first in line. Wait, like for real? Yes, to become royalty. But I don't know anything about being royalty. That's why we're here to help you. We have to go with them. Okay, let's go. No, she can't come with. She has to come with me. Fine, but she must be quiet. You can't blow the cover. Deal. I don't think I'm ready to be a princess. You don't have to as long as the king and queen are alive. Okay, good. But the killer is still on the loose. Why haven't you guys caught him? Because people keep giving us different descriptions. What? We think that someone may be trying to throw us off or there might be more than one. More than one person. But no need to worry or be scared. We're here to save you. No, no, I'm not scared at all. Who would, why would you think that? Okay. The king and queen are missing. What do you mean missing? I mean that they're not in here. And that's why we should just print more money. You know, I just don't think that's true. Is that a Cartier bracelet? Where did you get it? Oh, it was my soulmate's Christmas gift to me. So jealous? I don't have anything. There's still time. They're probably just getting you something good. You smell so good. Thanks, my soulmate got me a perfume. Why did everyone get gifts from their soulmate but me? Don't stress. Well, what'd you get for them? A candle. No wonder they didn't get you anything. What's wrong with the candle? Kind of basic, don't you think? That was all I could get. I'm assuming you still don't have a job. Nope.
This rich family I know is looking for a cleaner. What? I hate cleaning. It's $100 an hour. On second thought, hand me a mop. Great, I'll tell them. Oh, you must be the new maid. Yeah, but I think it'll take me a few days to clean this big of a house. Don't worry, you only have to do my kids' rooms and bathrooms. It's upstairs. Okay, great. Uh, what are you doing in here? Cleaning? Oh, okay. Sorry, you scared me. Where did you get that candle? I don't know. It was a gift. You must have altered the future, too. Uh-oh. Um, hi, Jackson. I'm here because I think it's time that we finally get back together. I broke up with you four years ago. And I've never stopped thinking about it. You're my true love. Are you feeling okay? I'd feel better if you were my girlfriend. I brought you a gift. It's half drank. Sorry, I got thirsty on the way over. Thanks, I think. So, are we back together? No, we're not. Fine, I'll just ask again when I see you at school. Great. Hey, your hair looks so good today. Oh, uh, thank you. That was weird. She's never spoken to me before. Hey, have you thought about that date yet? What date? Remember I asked you out last week? You're the quarterback. Yeah, and you're the most popular girl. It makes sense. What? You're mistaken. I am not popular. What are you talking about? Ever since you broke up with Jackson, everyone loves you. What have I done? So, are we going to go on that date or not? a job i just use my parents money everyone is given a job you don't get a choice what is on my head santa you get to be santa that's so cool no that's not so cool i don't know how to get around the world you'll figure it out hi santa what did i get uh here you go is that a paper towel yes but it's a magic paper towel really what does it do i can't tell you that it'll ruin the christmas spirit bye did you finally get me that bike i asked for no, but I did get you Windex wipes. Here you go. Did you get me the iPhone? Here. Uh, I don't think that's the iPhone. Aren't you gonna be all joyful? Oh, right. Ho, ho, ho. You kind of scare me. Did I get a gift? Of course. I have something that I think you're gonna love. Is that a piece of hair? Yes, it is. Well, you see, this hair came off of a unicorn. <gasps> Give it to me! Are you Santa? Yes. You're fired. You're terrible at your job. You can't fire me. I'm Santa. You gave a child Windex. Ooh, I've been wanting to try this one. Unlock what? It's a new system. You need coins to unlock everything. I don't have any coins. How am I supposed to get them? You need a job. That won't work either. I can't use anything? Only water is free. This old woman down the block is looking for a babysitter. I hate kids. But you need the coins. Okay, I'll do it. It's the one on the hill. Dude, that's not a house. That's a castle. Who am I babysitting for? The queen? I don't know what she does. Ah, it's a dog. Don't worry about Butterball. He's very friendly. He doesn't really look friendly. Are you the new babysitter? Yeah. So where's the kid? Oh, Lucas, where are you? I'm right here. Calm down. That's not a kid. That's a full grown adult. Yep, I'm 22. He's older than me. The pay is a million coins an hour. Is that okay? Okay, sounds good. I'll be back in eight hours. What's in your hand? Some fireworks. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to throw them into oncoming traffic. What? You can't do that? What, are you gonna stop me? One billion dollars. If you don't take that, you're an idiot. I don't know what to do with that much money. I have seven dollars in my account right now. Dude, you could get literally whatever you want. I'm gonna do it. Bailey, no, don't. Ugh, why? <laughs> Broke people should never laugh. I have some bad news again. Oh God, what is it this time? I burnt down a second house. How did you burn down a second house? I left my tacos in the microwave too long. So what did you get? Nothing. I have nothing. What? Why? Because all of this is insane. I don't need that much money or 16 private jets. You could have had 10 houses like me. You shouldn't even have the houses. You keep burning them down. Maybe that's why they gave me so many. Whatever. I'm fine. Uh, what is it? Um, there's no double it button anymore. What do you mean there's no double it button? That's the whole point of this. It just says take it. Well, finally, you have to take something. Is it at least good? Yeah, it's pretty good. One hundred billion dollars. Bitch, what? Sis, could you bring me toilet paper? Yeah, one sec. Here you go. Oh my god, it actually worked? I can't believe it. What worked? You made my name toilet paper? Oops, it was an accident. Give it to me. No, you're not getting this now. Are you kidding me? I need it. Suffer. Oh, hey, uh, toilet paper. Please, don't call me that. Would you prefer TP? No, I would not. How could you get that bad of a name? Ugh, it wasn't my fault. You should plead your case for a redo to the officials. I didn't know you could get a redo. Only if it's really bad like yours. Go here, they should be able to help you. They better change it or I'm never leaving my house ever again. Next! Hi, I need to change my name. Go take a seat and someone will be with you. Hi, I'll be helping you today. You're who I'm pleading my case to? Is there a problem? No, no, no problem. Let's go. So are you going to speak? My sister tricked me 
me right when I was able to pick my name. Are you stupid? Excuse me? Maybe you should just be smarter. But I didn't know that it was my turn to pick my name. Pay more attention. Please, can't you just consider it? Only if you can help me too. Like how? I need a date to my sister's wedding and I'm desperate. What? What's wrong? That's my ex-boyfriend. Your ex-boyfriend's getting married to my sister right now? Apparently, yeah. How crazy is that? What a small world. Why do you look panicked? Did it not end well? No, it ended terribly. You may now kiss the bride. What What are you doing? Let's go inside. You have to tell me what's going on. So, spill. He cheated on me with someone and I never found out who, but I guess I just did because it's your sister. Ew, my sister's a homewrecker? You need to get it together. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm in a t-shirt. I did tell you to change. I'm sure he'd love to see his ex. Why don't we go over there and congratulate them? They just got married. Isn't that kind of petty? Petty ideas are my favorite. Maybe I do like you. Hey guys, me and my girlfriend wanted to congratulate you. Congratulations. Oh, what are you doing here? What, do you know her or something? Yeah, that's my ex-girlfriend. <gasps> Why am I a girl? Yeah. No, I'm definitely a girl right now. Honey, get down here. You're gonna be late for school. Uh, I can't. I have my period. Don't be silly. Just put a tampon in. Come on. Why does it look like a weapon? We have to go now. Get dressed. Hey, hey bro, what's up? Did you see the game last night? Um, what? I mean, nothing. <laughs> Bye. You have got to be joking. What are you wearing? What? What do you mean? I've never seen you wear anything but pink. Does your hat say milk? Yeah, you know it. Give me one. No, I'm not going to give you one. Whatever. Let's go. We have to watch over the new cheerleaders. The cheerleaders? Because we're the captains. Don't tell me you don't remember. Of course I remember. Hey, why don't you come demonstrate the cheers with me? No, I'm good. I'm feeling sick, but I love watching. Okay, if you say so. What's the matter, towel boy? Aren't you gonna pick that one up? What a loser! Oh shit! I've been wanting to try this for so long. <gasps> Put that down! Why? Your color! <gasps> that was a close one. You can't hold, eat, or drink anything that's not pink. I know, sorry, I just wasn't paying any attention. Y you need to be careful. <gasps> Are those chicken nuggets? Yeah, I got the color brown. I'm so jealous, I'm gonna starve. I don't know any foods that are actually pink. Salmon. Ew, I hate fish. Mm, what about strawberries? Strawberries are red. Oh, right, sorry. You can have strawberry milk. What, am I supposed to survive off strawberry milk all day? Yeah, I guess so. What if I just dyed foods pink? You can't, it's against the rules. Crap, the only pen I have is black. Here, use this. This is a lip liner. But it'll write, won't it? Can you wash my stuff while I go to the bathroom? Yeah, sure. Screw it, I need to drink something. Uh-oh. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Thanks, can I have a piece of cake now? No, not yet. Aww. But you can have your gift. Headphones, but I don't even have a phone yet. They're not for your phone. Whatever you do, you cannot take them off. But why? I can't tell you until you're older, okay? Miss, no headphones in class. I already told you, Miss Smith, I am not allowed to take them off. You're such a weird child. Why can't you take them off? Um, I'm not really sure. My mom just said I can't take them off. You've never asked why? Do you just listen to everything your mommy says? Uh, I've never really asked. Well, you should. I'm having a party tonight. You should come. Really? But you can't wear the headphones. Hey. What did I tell you about the headphones? You're not allowed to come inside until you take them off. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Let's see what you're hiding. What? Where did she go? Hello? What do you mean? I'm right here. She vanished. Hello? How is that possible? I can't believe they actually broke up. I can't believe she didn't behead him. What? What? What's wrong? Earth to Bailey. Hello? Is it a lot of money or something? So if you took a one, right? And then you added six zeros onto the end of it. A million dollars? What am I supposed to do with that? Dude, whatever you want. Buy a Lambo. How does he have that much money? And why did he give it to me? You asked too many questions. Maybe that's why she wanted to be with him so bad. No kidding. Hey, you, I need your help. Me? Why me? You're in charge of the school newspaper, right? Yeah. I need you to print a story for me. I can't do that. Do it or I'll have the whole paper shut down. And what would you like me to print? That I'll pay a million dollars to whoever can find out who Jack's soulmate is. Dude, why would you agree to that? I don't know. She scares me. It's intimidation. I hate you. Why are we yelling? You gave your soulmate one million dollars. What is wrong with you? She better hope that I never find out who she is. Hi, I think that you're my mom. <laughs> no shot, kid. You're talking to the wrong girl. But I was just assigned to you by the soulmate system. You were what? I have to follow you everywhere you go. I'm not allowed to leave until you find your soulmate. I have to have a 10-year-old following me around all the time? I'm 13, thank you very much. Oh, my bad. At least I'm not a grandma like you. Can I have a sip of that? No. Why not? You're being mean to me. I didn't sign up for this. Neither did I. You suck. What do 13 year olds do? Do I have to buy you like Legos or something? No, I just want to scroll on TikTok. We have to go. Can you drive? 
No, I'm 13. Oh, I'm right, sorry. Jessica, why do you have a newborn baby? This is what the soulmate system gave me. Bet you like me now, huh? I have no idea who my soulmate could be, and I don't want to be stuck with this forever. This? Excuse me. Your soulmate has a kid the same age, so go where they'll hang out. I don't know where kids hang out. The mall! No, I hate the mall. Too bad, we're going. Why do you look like that? What? What do you mean? You're kind of scary. Why do I look like I know how to play a guitar? I think your soulmate did it. Come on, we have to get in the car now. I have to go to school like this? Yeah, you can't skip it. Whoa, are you trying to be in a band? Ah, yes, real funny. I play the trombone. My soulmate gave me a Gucci belt. Why are you bragging when I look like this? I think you look kind of cool. <sighs> Bailey, come to the office. What? But I wasn't even late today. I skipped Starbucks. No, that's not it. Your outfit is inappropriate. What? Why? It's distracting to other students. But I didn't pick this, my soulmate did. It doesn't matter, you're suspended. Leather is against the dress code. You're suspending me for wearing a leather jacket? Exactly. You can't leave until your parents come pick you up. My parents can't pick me up there at work. Then you can sit over there with the other hooligans. Dana, you spray painted the back of the school again? No, it wasn't me. Wait, I know that you didn't do that. Why, because you did? No. I'm adding on to your suspension. I'm gonna go hang with my friends, bye. You can't wear that, it's my sweater. But it looks so much better on me. Please, can I wear it just this one time? What are you doing? I don't know what that means. So I can wear it? Okay, cool, see you later. Oh, I'm also taking your car. Hey, bestie, how's your day? Okay, I will take that as not good. What's wrong? Speaking is banned for you? So this might be the wrong time to tell you, but I saw your boyfriend cheating on you with Stephanie the other day. Hey, babe, what's up? Um. Are you okay? Hello? I don't know what that means. What, are you going to kill me or something? What's happening right now? Oh, I know. You want to eliminate me. Here, just write it down. Excuse me? Why would you write that? What? Whatever, I like Stephanie more. I did not set you up. You told me that she loves peanut butter. That's what she said. She's deathly allergic to it. Oh, I must have misheard her. Sorry. Are you insane? Where'd you even get that peanut the butter? The grocery store? Yeah, right. You were mocking me because you've always had a crush on me. I do not like you. Ugh, everyone likes me. You are so delusional. It's honestly brave. Whatever. That peanut butter wasn't enough. I'm still hungry. You should get lunch in a sec. Where's my food? Uh, there's nothing there. Nothing? I didn't even know you were allowed to do that. How long can humans go for without food? I think it's like two hours or something. You just need to talk to him. Don't you think it's a little late for that? There must be another way. There is no other way. With a magic potion, you can turn the table so you choose what he Who eats. Who are you? I'm no one. Bye. Maybe I should listen to her. Are you insane? You're probably hallucinating. You have to give him water he was throwing up. Do I though? Yes, that's like really bad. No, I don't think I'm done yet. Jack, if your soulmate is putting you in danger, you can report it as an emergency. Then the turns will restore. You can what? Yeah, she is putting me in danger. No one told me that. I mean, you did trust a random old grandma. Emergency reported, shit. You've dug yourself a hole this time. I can't starve for the rest of my life. I need my Chick-fil-A. Seriously, that's what you're worried about? Just go tell him. Okay, fine. Jack, you need to think about your soulmate. Why should I? She was trying to kill me. Because if you keep not giving her any food, she could die. Good. I hope she does. I don't want her. Actually, I'm going to send her her lunch right now. No, don't pick anything. Morning, hon. Here's your breakfast for today. Mom, do you have eyes? I can't eat this. I didn't pick that. Your soulmate did. Ugh, that's disgusting. Can I just eat something else? No, you're only allowed to eat what they choose for you. Do you have a pencil I can borrow? No. Damn, I was just asking for a pencil. Sorry, I'm so hangry. My soulmate didn't give me any breakfast. That sucks. Mine gave me a charcuterie board. Um, is that a jar of mayo? It's not even regular mayo. It's the vegan kind. Maybe they're a vegan. I'm not eating a jar of mayo for lunch. Does this kid hate me? Can I have it? I love mayo. Ew. Come on, at least give me a side or something. Are you kidding me? Minced garlic? Bro thinks I'm a vampire. You don't like garlic? I eat it with a spoon. You can have it. Weirdo. They haven't even given me any water. Who cares? I only drink Dr. Pepper. I don't care about the rules. I need water now. No, don't do that. What? What's gonna happen? You can only eat what they choose forever now. Babe, if you had to be a planet, which one would you hmm, be? Probably Uranus. Ha ha, so funny. My parents are out of town, so you should come over this weekend. Why? So we can hang out. But I like my house better. Okay, are you saying you don't want to see me? No. Fine, whatever, I'll invite Steve over. Uh, hey Bailey, what you drinking? Water. There's nothing in that cup.
You have to use your imagination. Are you feeling okay? You're acting kind of strange. Do you guys ever think about dying? Honestly, yeah, a little too much. Hey, who's the president right now? Barbie. Um, no. Oh, right, Barbara. No, that's not right. Dude, what are you doing on the roof? I was going to get my car. By jumping off the roof? No, I was going to float. Okay, something is seriously wrong with you. I'm getting help. Bad news, I left the window open and our hamster jumped out. Womp womp. What, but you loved him. Yeah. I think I like this little life. You might, but clearly Mr. Cuddles didn't like his. What do you think of this new shirt I got yesterday? Pookie is looking absolutely fabulous tonight. Um, okay, thanks, I think. Do you want to ride to school or not? Merrily we fall out of line, out of line. Bitch, this isn't Glee. Let's go. What drink is that? I've never seen it. Jacob Bellorti's bath water. Wait, what? Are you serious? Ew, don't drink it. <clears throat> Bailey, do you know the answer to number six? Last night I dreamed I was a bottle of ketchup. Um, what? And you were mustard, which was weird because usually you're mayonnaise in my dreams. Okay, you're starting to scare me. Are you feeling okay? I'm gonna call the nurse. Mwah. No balls. Excuse me? No, we can't just print more money. That's not how it works. But why not? I want to be rich. I can pause time or I can teleport. What? I want to do both of those. I know what I should do. Shit, I'm gonna be so late. Time to see if this works. I made it, and with time to spare. Whoa, Bailey, where did you come from? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. You definitely weren't. Nope, I was here. It's like you appeared out of thin air. You guys are all crazy. I was literally sitting here the entire time. Anyway, we can't be friends with you anymore. Your outfit totally clashes with ours. What are you guys, sixth graders? Looks like someone needs a haircut. I didn't mean to cut off this much. <laughs> Why are you missing a chunk of hair? Bailey, did you cut my hair? No, I did not. You're literally holding it. Oops. She's a freak. She probably has like a hair fetish. Now you can be funny with no pants on. <laughs> it's so small. Ew, Josh, why did you pull your pants Ew. down? Ew, why does it look like that? <laughs> it looks like a shrimp. <laughs> he says, what's up? Where's my Stanley cup? What? You don't even own one. I need one. I'm not buying you that. It's like $50. All my friends have them, and if I don't have one, I'm not going to be cool. If your friends judge you for a cup, they don't like you. I hate this household. I'm leaving forever, and I'm never coming back. Okay, but if you leave, there's no Wi-Fi on the street. Then I'm not going. What are you doing? Leave me alone. I'm showing them my 14-step skincare routine. Nobody cares. How did you even get that? Can you go away now? You're ruining my light. Uh, excuse me. Ooh, are your leggings Lululemon? Um, no. I got them with my Kohl's cash. Ew. I only wear Lululemon. Okay, nobody asked. Can we go to Air One? I want to try the Hailey Bieber skin smoothie. There's no way we can go to Air One. Why not? Because we're in Massachusetts. Fine, I'll just go by myself. Really? How are you gonna get there? I'm gonna walk. Yeah? Good luck with that. And I'm taking the Sol de Janeiro with me. Six, I swear, if you make the bathroom smell that bad again... Okay, sorry, I won't. Everyone can't see me or everyone can't hear me. I feel like I could use being invisible for a day. I am so glad Bailey's not here today. I genuinely hate her. Me too, she's so annoying. Fake ass bitch. Why is there a dick on your face? What? What do you mean? Class, settle down and get that off of your face. Ass hat. Hey, who said that? Mary. Huh? What? The answer is 76. Where is that voice coming from? I'm a genie and I'm gonna get you 100% on this test. Really? Thank you so much. Do people still feel if I hit them? Ow, what the fuck? Quiet, we're testing. Marissa, why did you answer in the shape of a Christmas tree? Because the magic genie told me to do it this way. <laughs> wow, okay, how about we take you to get some help? We have to save Lacey. Are you crazy? We could get in so much trouble. Oh, finally, I can take this wig off. Huge lips. That's perfect. Looks like you don't have to do anything. Hey, my lips are not that big. Yours are paper thin. What are you going to do? I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Lip Liner. Your turn. I know what I have to do. Okay, how do I look? Ah, oh my god, what the... I kind of like it. Are your eyes working okay? Okay, what's the plan? After this check, we're going to sneak out when they're not looking and go to say Lacey. You're crazy, but I kind of like it. Next! It's impolite not to say hello. Last time you told me to shut up. Whatever, just stand still. All right, you're good. Hey! Okay, quick, follow me. How did you know this bookshelf is a door? I was trying to read Harry Potter once, but I opened this door instead. That seems like a bad book to hide it on. The jail is just down that hallway. Hey, what are you two doing? I didn't even get a raise. You're right, I'm sorry, we lied. 
That's it. You two are coming with me right now. No, wait, listen. The reason that we had to come down here is because my friend has a huge crush on you. What? Oh, really? Yeah, she's pretty cute. Yeah, she had to come down here to know your name. Oh, it's Bartholomew. Uh, why don't we go chat down the hall? Aw, bye. Have fun, you guys. Why would you send him away? He has the keys. Oh, don't worry. I got it. What? How did you do that? I snuck it off his belt while he was flirting. Shit, it changed again? We don't have time to go get a nose job. Don't worry. I got this one. Okay, I'm done. What did you do to your face? It was the best that I could do, okay? Quick, get in line. It's like we were never gone. Next for the beauty check. Hold it right there, miss. Something is wrong. W what do you mean something's off? We're looking for a suspect who looks just like you. We're gonna hold you here until we can confirm it's not you. You can't hold me here. We actually can. Sorry, I think I'm hearing things. Did you just say royalty? Yes, every royal must have gold as their currency and no changes can be made. This must be some kind of mistake. I have no way to get gold. I'm gonna starve. Typically, royals have easy access to gold. They're the only ones who can get it. Wait, but that means that Jake... Yes, he's a prince. Is that why the security guard knew who you were? Really, that's your first question. What kind of royalty? I gotta be like a millionth in line, right? You're first in line. You're the daughter of the queen. Am I hallucinating? I'm on a prank show, right? <gasps> Where are the cameras? I need to put more lip gloss on. We've been looking for you for years. Does that mean you're my brother? No, no, we are not related at all. Great, I still don't have any gold and I need a snack. Don't worry about that. I can help you get gold. What, are we gonna go find it under a rainbow? I don't believe you anymore. We have an unlimited supply in my castle. Wh why did you just hit yourself? Sorry, I was seeing if I would wake up. What are you doing that's not edible? Then why is it scented like watermelon? Guess the magic word? For what? If you guess it right, you get to meet your soulmate, but you only get three chances and you get hints. I don't need the hint. I think I know what it is. Really? Broccoli. What? Why would it be broccoli? That was wrong. Of course it was wrong. That was a stupid guess. I don't know. I like broccoli. Stop messing around. Just take the hint. It says that it starts with the letter O. Okay, pick something simple like oval. What if it's ostrich? I don't think that it's going to be the word ostrich. <gasps> I know what it is. Oligarchy. Dude, what? Why would it be that? Do you even know what that word means? No. Ugh, then why would you ever guess it? I don't know. I thought it was a cool word. I'm losing brain cells. What's your next hint? It's a body of water. Come on, you have to know what this is. It's so easy. A body of water that starts with the letter O. I can't think of one. Ah! Play truth or lie. I can't do that. I can never tell when people are lying. You have to. We're all playing so that we can find our soulmates. You know what? Fine. What's the worst that could happen? Soulmate has blue eyes. Truth or lie? I really hope that they do. I love blue eyes. Yay, I got it right. No fear. I got mine wrong. Sucks to suck. Soulmate is under six feet tall. I hope that's a lie. I want someone who's six three. <laughs> Okay, maybe a short king? Hey, I'm five feet. There's nothing wrong with being short. How am I supposed to wear heels around them? You can't. Better buy some Crocs. Soulmate has red hair? I hope so. That would narrow down my options so much. Cool, now I have to look for someone who's ginger. No, ginger people are the devil. That's not true. Oh my gosh, did you see the news? No, what is it? This guy who's 5'11 with ginger hair and blue eyes is wanted for a really serious crime. Doesn't that sound like your soulmate? Huh, <laughs> no. I can be adopted by a billionaire or a baker. Hey, what does billionaire mean? It must be someone who has like a billion friends. Wow, okay. Oh my, why have they given me a clearance child? And what are you wearing? I don't know. Go put this on this instant. This seems fancy. Yes, well, it's better than the Walmart clothes you're wearing. Much better. And this is our butler, Gerald. He'll take care of whatever you want. You have to get me anything I ask for? Yes, miss, that's right. Can I have an electric guitar? Yes, I will get on that right now. Here you go, one electric guitar. Sweet, thank you. So, what do you do for a job? Uh, I run a very big business. What kind of business? This is not bonding time. You don't need to know. I will not answer any personal questions about myself. Now go sit down for dinner. The private chef has made a five-course meal. Sis, I swear, if you make the bathroom smell that bad again... Okay, sorry, I won't. Everyone can't see me or everyone can't hear me. I feel like I could use being invisible for a day. I am so glad Bailey's not here today. I genuinely hate her. Me too, she's so annoying. Fake-ass bitch. Why is there a dick on your face? What? What do you mean? Class, settle down and get that off of your face. Asshat. Hey, who said that? Mary. Huh? What? The answer is 76. Where is that voice coming from? I'm a genie, and I'm going to get you 100% on this test. Really? Thank you so much. Can people still feel if I hit them? Ow, what the fuck? Quiet, we're testing. 
Marissa, why did you answer in the shape of a Christmas tree? Because the magic genie told me to do it this way. <laughs> wow, okay, how about we take you to get some help? Different kinds of people listening to music. Hey, did you do the math homework? I kind of forgot mine. Bailey, hello, hello. What? And that's when she told me that it was actually her cousin all along. Ew, what? Hey, are you listening to us? You're not even playing any music. Hey, Bailey, Bailey, hey, Bailey, hey, hey. What about the hat and headphones do you not understand? Please stop talking to me. Dude, could you please turn that down? No. Dude, TikTokers need to stop making music. Like, yeah, it's been your dream since you were five, but you make TikTok videos and you need to only do that. That's a little bit brutal, don't you think? I've heard some really good songs off TikTok. No, dude, it's the truth. Like, I don't like any of it. I swear. How should it die? Kicks me down, I'm stuck in the mud. Always close, but never the- Are you fucking recording me? Guys, I am going on tour. If you missed a few chapters, I make music. I just released an EP on August 10th. I'm going to be in San Francisco, Anaheim, and New York. It is also all ages, so everyone is welcome to come. I'm also going to be having opening support from the amazing, talented Kaylee Spivey. If you want to get a ticket, they are on sale now. Link is in my bio. Hey, what if someone wrote a song about being in a constant fight with yourself? No, that sounds stupid. There's no way that could be any good. Why did you leave me? What did I do wrong? And maybe the problem was me all along. I am my worst enemy. There's nothing you could say that I don't know. I am my worst enemy. Y'all remember this shirt from yesterday, right? I'm gonna show you like four more ways to wear it. This is it cross, so uncross the straps and then retie them. Now we have a completely different top and it's so cute. Now we're gonna untie it and tie it straight across the front. So now we have this, I like it. Or you can flip the entire thing around and wear it as bandeau. For this one, I looped the strings down instead of up and then tied them around the back. This variation is not very stable at all. <laughs> For this top, take just the bottom part, not the string, put it over your head, pull it to your back, twist, head through. For a little bit of extra fun, take the string, cross it, tie it in the back. Or you could just tie it straight like this. And if you made more than one, you can mix and match the color of the string. Another mix and match. I really like this one. <laughs> You're welcome, because now you'll never have to buy another little top ever again. Hey babies! So we all know Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I'm pretty lonely, but that doesn't mean we can't give gifts to the people that we do love. So I am here to share with you the app Goody. Goody is amazing. You can literally send gifts to your friends or whoever you want just by their phone number and there are no upfront payments and the things they have on there are so good. So here's the Goody app in all its glory and you can see all the different kinds of gifts that you can send to your friends so easily. And with that, for Valentine's Day, I'm going to be giving a couple of you guys a gift. So if you want a gift from me, DM me on Instagram and show me what you want and you just might get it. But if you want this gift, you have to sign up with Goody. There's a link in my bio that you should click to sign up. It only takes your name and phone number and then you're done. I seriously recommend that you get this app and send a gift to someone you love because it's literally so easy. I am very excited to be giving you guys some gifts for Valentine's Day because I love y'all. So sign up for Goody right now. Hey bitches, let's do an outfit of the day. Um, this is actually a Polly Pocket top. I just made it bigger so it would fit me. These are from Home Depot, love that place. Popeyes, of course. Um, I found all of my jewelry on the floor of a Wawa bathroom, so you know. Hey guys, this top is from McDonald's. My pants are from CVS. My boots are from Lil Nas X. And my jewelry is from a gumball machine. <laughs> Y'all, I got new phone cases from Casetify. Look how cute they are. I've had a Casetify case on my phone for months now, and let me tell you, it is one of the best phone cases I've ever used. And let me tell you why. Reason number one is that they're so protective. I literally dropped my phone halfway down the stairs, and my phone was perfectly fine. And they're not bulky. <coughs> Quality, hey. Reason number two is they have such a good variety of phone cases. This one right here is the one I have on my phone right now, and it is the cutest thing ever. I've gotten so many compliments on it. Plus, your favorite influencers already use the cases. This is Kylie Jenner with a case to five case. Kylie Jenner has high standards. You think she's going to use a crappy case? No. Their packaging, also adorable, and they come with phone cleansing wipes. Thank you, safety, COVID, hello. Use my code 20BaileyS for 20% off your case to five purchase.
So I was trying to find photos and videos of my mom to put her into an appreciation post, but the problem is my mom doesn't like being photographed. It's like trying to get a picture of a Kwame. She's just not there. But then I found this app. This is it. It's called Reface and just wait because it is so funny. One of the things you can do on this app is put your face onto other GIFs or videos. So this is me on someone random. But that's how all those people make those videos like me mixed with Margot Robbie on TikTok, you know? But then I saw they update their app and added anime image and I was like, what is that? You can make the photo talk and sing and you make them say whatever you want. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! That is my sister and her husband and she very well might kill me. <laughs> All you have to do is upload an image and then choose what sound you want to put on their face. <laughs> this is going to be really fun to send to my family group chat. Download Reface. Uh Let's get ready to go to the gym, my favorite part of the day. Um, I spent an absolute bag at Lululemon yesterday because I have no self-control. So I think I'm going to wear one of my new Align tanks. <laughs> I got the black camo one and it is so cute and I'm so excited. Mm. Um, yes, absolutely yes, I'm obsessed with this. Um, I think I'm going to wear these Alpha Lee silver shorts with it. And what the fuck? Okay, I'm rocking with it. Um, can't wait for the she's packing comments. Yes, probably packing more than you, okay? Obviously, I'm gonna take off my makeup and put up my hair, but I'm wearing my white Converse as always. I think I'm gonna do chest and tries today. I might just end up doing cardio though, because I'm kind of just not feeling it right now, but like, mm, I know, I know. Y'all want to know how the date went. First of all, I chose outfit number one. I thought it was the most flattering, so... He lives 30 minutes away. I thought we were just going to meet the gym. And he texts me and he's like, I'm picking you up, right? And I'm like, okay. So he drove 30 minutes out here to come get me. When he gets here, he gets out of his car, opens the door for me. And I'm like, mm, chivalry is not dead. We drive there and there's no free guest passes, which I didn't even know because I'm new to this gym. But he pays the $20 to work out with me when he literally has a home gym. He was like watching me the whole time, like encouraging me, like your deadlift form is so good. Like you got it. Like. And then we go to Wegmans to get food, and he walks over to the fruit section with me, and I'm just like, what a man, wow. We both get fruit and go to the checkout line. I have my wallet in hand. I'm like standing in front of the thing. Doesn't let me pay for it. Like steps in front of me, just inserts the card, and I'm like, okay, um. <laughs> then we just talk for a while, and he's so cute. So cute. If I play, do I get one of those cool t-shirts? <laughs> yes. Really? Everyone gets a t-shirt. We make them ourselves. And... If you, you're being sarcastic. You're being Guys, I have a crush on a boy, and I have not had a crush on a boy in a very long time, like four months. I went to my friend's kickback on Saturday, and usually it's just, like, people I know, like, not that many people, it's whatever, but this really, really hot dude and his friends showed up, and I was, like, looking at him, and me and all my friends are conversing, and we're like, that dude is so fine, like, oh my god. So, me and my other friend go up and start talking to them, him and his friends. And he was so attractive. And then he was apparently interested in me because one of the, his friends comes up to me and he was like, Barry, he thinks you're cute. And I'm like, me? Okay. So I started talking to him. I had him on Snap. We started snapping. And then yesterday I was hanging out with my friends at a house and he shows up again. And um, this man took off his sweatshirt. I hope he doesn't see this. He is built. I was just like, I, he took it off and I was just like, I, ooh, uh, he is so attractive. I don't know what to do. Like, I think I'm going to mentally break down. Oh, my God. So I just made an outfit wearing this as a joke, but that won't even post. So I know with no context, I look absolutely insane. But I promise it was for a good reason. But let's put on an actual outfit, okay? I took that shit out of my hair and took this mesh thing off. I haven't worn this blue top in a really long time. So let's put it on and see if she's a winner or not. Um, definitely a yes. I absolutely love the cut of this top. It's kind of lopsided. I don't know. Okay, hear me out. I know these are two different shades of blue, but it might be a moment. It's a no for me, but I do like the bodycon. My white bodycon is dirty, so we're settling for this one. <laughs> I think the circle pendant would look so cute. Let me put it on so you can see. Adding hoops, because I love them. <laughs> Rings. <laughs> now we add the brownish sunglasses to hide the fact that my hair looks like shit, and we're done. Looking snazzy, feeling good, hot girl summer, whatever. <laughs> If you are a jewelry enthusiast like me, stick around. Look at these little butterfly earrings. They're so cute. 
Jules by Aurora sent me a few things and they are all so freaking cute. And for 48 hours after I post this video, you will have the chance to use my code BAILEYSPIN to get buy one, get two free. Not buy one, get one. Buy one, get two free. I also got this top chain. It is so cute. I love little layering chains. They're my favorite. Look at how cute these are. What? And we got this one, which makes me feel like an Egyptian goddess. I love it. But wait, it gets better. All the jewelry is handmade. They're based in Los Angeles, and it's a woman-owned small business. Yes! They also ship and process their orders fast, so you won't be waiting around wondering where the hell your order is. I don't know about you, but I would not pass up a buy one, get two free jewelry sale. <laughs> you can't tell me you don't want butterfly earrings. What are we going to get for dinner? Oh. Quesadilla? So y'all remember when I made that video about Curology that I said wasn't sponsored? Well, this one is sponsored by Curology. Thank you to Curology. Mwah, love you. Curology is literally the best thing to ever happen to me and I'm going to show you why. This was my skin when I started Curology. It gets worse, let me show you. I had horrifying zits under my neck and they would not go away. No cleanser I'd ever tried had worked. They all just made me break out. Serums, moisturizers, nothing would work. This is what my skin looks like now after three months. Three months of Curology. No neck zits. On Curology.com, you fill out a custom skin quiz, which will hook you up with a dermatology provider that will give you the exact formula you need to solve your skin. You can choose exactly what you want in your box. So I get the custom formula, the cleanser, moisturizer, and emergency pimple patches for those stubborn zits that come out of nowhere. When I tell you guys you will not regret getting Curology, I mean it. You can start your free trial now and all you have to do is pay the $4.95 shipping. Go get it. Hey guys, I'm here to tell you about my favorite app to create and edit my content, which is Prequel. What is Prequel, you might be asking. Let me tell you. Prequel is a unique app for video and photo editing. On the Prequel app, there are not only so many different effects that are global trends, they also help to tell an individual story. The effects on this app can bring so much emotion or life to the video or whatever you're trying to edit, and it is incredible. So here is me editing a selfie quick on the app. There are so many different effects you can choose from. My personal favorite is dust number one. It looks so good, and there are so many different things you can do to this. Prequel has everything you need to make the trendiest and highest quality content you will ever see. If you want to create some amazing content just like I do, click the link in my bio to download Prequel. You will not regret it. This app is literally everything. I look a little ugly right now, but it's okay. I want to show you the house that I am currently staying in Orlando because it's insane. Let me start from downstairs. There's people and I'm really awkward. <laughs> Bro, just look at the door. Look at the door. Look at the door. Hello? Let's go outside. Literally what? Look at this. There they are. There's hammocks. Oh my god. <laughs> There's literally an arcade in here. Like, I shit you not. Like, my Bougie AF. There's literally a slide to go down to the arcade room. I'll do it at the end. Random bed in the hall. <laughs> this is my favorite part is a drive-in theater, but it's inside. Giant movie screen. Look at this. And the truck is a bed. Surfboard. This is the bar area. It's like my fave. So pretty. Here's me. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Oh my god. Slide. Ah! Person, they're like, huh? I thought you were taller, and I was like, you know what, Shawty? I wish I was taller. I'm like two feet tall, and I'm built like a toddler. I can fit in children's pants. Like, please, I know you don't gotta tell me twice. Back again, and we're gonna do a realistic white fox haul. We're starting off strong with this two piece set. My only complaint is that it was supposed to be tie dye, and it is the faintest tie dye I've ever seen. No, because this skirt is literally giving me everything, it fits me like a glove. The quality is incredible. Buy it. Like, are you literally kidding? Okay, again, this shirt is giving me everything. It fits me like a glove. It is such good quality. It has boning here. I like it. I don't know why I thought it was hot enough to pull this off. It was like a late night purchase, but I'm definitely not doing it any justice at all. I also got it in pink, but I won't be trying it on because it broke the first time I put it on. These are my new favorite jeans. End of story. They fit me like a glove. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay, this would have been an absolute serve, except it literally doesn't fit me, which makes no sense because all the other ones fit me. But um, the skirt is a serve. Love her. 
recently a lot of you have been saying that my skin looks really clear and let me tell you it has been a process but I want to share with you my favorite products that have helped me to get a beautiful face. The brand I have been loving and living for recently is Ami. I first start out with a makeup wipe to remove any gunk from my face and Ami is completely vegan and cruelty free plus affordable, yes. <laughs> To get my face fully clean, I'm going to use the Clear and Calm Exfoliating Face Wash, which is natural, by the way. It feels so nice. To finish off, I'm going to use the Mattifying Clear and Calm Moisturizer, which literally lasts 24 hours. It's incredible. Everything Ami sells is also dermatologist approved, so you know it's good. You can get your own Ami products at a Target near you. They are completely affordable, and I absolutely love them. 10 out of 10 recommend. I can't stand people who have no hips, who have hip dips, and then they have just a fat but donkey dunk ass. Like, how are you going to have an ass with no hips? Um, Guys, I'm actually about to pee my pants right now from the excitement. Oh, look. I know some of you don't know what Fender means, but this is a very nice guitar, and I'm so excited. Thank you, Fender, for giving me this guitar. I'm, I can't even talk right now. Please. Oh, that was aggressive. This is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Okay, let's just play it. <laughs> 